are you? I've missed you guys so, so much. So I'm gonna do my best to make this a tradition on my channel. Every time I start going into the actual video, I'm gonna be doing shout outs. So, shout out to Marie Soberano. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it so, so much. So for today's agenda, I haven't done a favorites video for a while and I kind of miss doing that. So I have a few products to show you guys and also talk to you guys about. And these are products that I have been loving all throughout the summertime. This probably isn't going to be a very long video so I don't bore you guys to death. Because I'm just going to be showing you guys the stuff that I have been loving that I use pretty much all the time. So I'm not going to keep this intro too long. Without further ado, let's get started. So first up for body care, I have discovered this really awesome body wash. And you guys are probably tired of me talking about body washes on my favorites videos, but this is honestly my current favorite one. And it's perfect for the summer because it's called Ivory and it's Island Oasis. Oasis, I'm not sure how you guys read that, but anyways, that's what it's called. This is a scented body wash. And let me tell you guys, the smell reminds me of ocean breeze and the wind blowing on trees that rhymed i did not plan that one of the things i really love about this is that it lathers on pretty well i literally just have to put the tiniest amount on my loofah and just scrub it on my skin and it lathers on like crazy and also it's pretty much natural because it says here that it has no dyes no heavy perfumes and it simply gets you clean like a body wash should. It also smells really good, which is always a plus. So as you guys probably already noticed, I have gone ombre again for the summer and this was purely bleach. I didn't use um, hair color for this one, it's just 100% bleach. And you guys might be wondering how the heck do I keep my hair alive and bouncy and healthy after all the hair color and the bleach just recently? So how do I do that? I do that by using conditioner on my hair every time I take a bath because it just brings back the moisture of my hair and I just noticed that every time I use conditioner, my hair is always softer afterwards. But aside from conditioner, I use a hair treatment like twice a week or sometimes thrice a week depending on the condition of my hair. So my favorite hair treatment at the moment, this is one from Verdon and it's Organic Moisturizing Keratin Hair Spa and this one is in Aloe Vera. I like Aloe Vera hair treatments because they basically work to bring back the natural moisture of your hair and it just kind of keeps it shiny and bouncy and this has really made me notice a difference. And taking good care of my hair doesn't only end in the shower where I put on shampoo and conditioner and treatment. I also use hair serum and I have been loving the Ashley Shine Hair Serum for the longest time now. Um, it's very affordable, just 100 plus, and you can get this at Divisoria. You could also get it at Aurorama. I just saw it there recently. I think there are other kinds of these ones, but I use the Luster and Shine one. Honestly, I just really believe in this product. It's been doing its job really, really well for the many, many months and maybe even years that I have used this, and it smells really, really good. And the smell of it, it doesn't wear off throughout the day. It stays on my hair for the whole day, so I have good smelling hair throughout the whole day. <laughs> now this is not a secret because I think I blurted it out in an old video. I think I've already told you guys that I have been struggling with blackheads. And because of that, I use no strips on a regular basis because I don't think it's practical to pay for a blackhead removal treatment every time I notice that my nose has become rough. So I use nose pore strips. And I just recently used this charcoal one. I usually use the green tea one or the classic one. I just recently used this and I discovered that the charcoal one takes out a lot of blackheads a lot like compared to the green tea one and the classic one this is from watson's um it's the body treats charcoal nose pore strips and it says here that it instantly removes blackheads draws out impurities absorbs oil and dirt and in clog 
the pores. I use this once a week or whenever I notice that my nose has become rough because of blackheads. And this has been my holy grail for a while now. Moving on to one of my favorite things to talk about, makeup. So, this is a makeup tool that I have been scared of for the longest time now. You guys may have noticed that in my makeup videos, I don't curl my lashes because I keep on telling you guys that I have naturally curled lashes and blah, 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 blah. Because I'm just really scared that if I use one, I might, I might accidentally squeeze it on my lid as well. And there might be a bleeding situation and I don't want that to happen. But now I just recently conquered my fear and now I can tell you guys that I have been using my <laughs> lash curler pretty much all the time. So... If you guys are like me, and you guys have been telling yourself pretty much your whole life that oh, I don't need this because I have naturally curled lashes, girl, you need to wake up to the wonders of lash curler <laughs> because it really makes a difference and it really makes your mascara stand out. I use this one. Um, it's different from the normal one where it's like scissors, like you put your fingers through the hole and then you squeeze. This one is different. I find this easier to use, but you can go with whatever eyelash curler you want. To tell you guys the truth, I don't use foundation or BB cream during the summertime because it's really warm in the Philippines. It's so, so hot and I don't want to risk having a face with makeup like literally melting. But for times during the summer where there are events or where I'm just in front of the camera like this filming a video for you guys, I like using my BB cream because it's so much lighter than foundation. This one by Maybelline surprisingly smells really good. This literally smells like berries and I did not expect that because usually products like this have a very chemical smell to them but this one smells really good. And this is the Super Cover Mineral Guard Filter Super BB by Maybelline. And this has SPF 50. SPF 50, you guys, that's the highest that SPF could go. I mean, some products could tell you that they have SPF 60 or SPF 70 or some products could even tell you that they have SPF 100. And I don't know why they do that because honestly, to tell you guys the truth, SPF could only get as high as 50. So this has the highest SPF that you could possibly get in a BB cream. So that is amazing. So it says here in the back that it perfectly covers imperfections. I could say that for sure because for a BB cream, this has pretty good coverage and hides pores. Yep, it did. It, it does hide my pores. I use this today. All day wear, um, I'm not sure about this because I haven't been in a situation where I had to wear makeup for the whole day um, and it blocks UV rays with SPF 50 PA plus 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 and it protects skin from pollution brightens skin smooth skin even skin tone it's like the powerhouse of BB creams because it's the summertime I like going for a lot of glow and it's kind of bulky to be bringing my palette of highlighters like all the time. I've been loving this for the longest time now and this is the Revlon highlighting stick. Pop it open and then you reveal the highlighting stick and basically apply it on the areas that you want to highlight. It's that easy. So instead of bringing a whole palette of highlighters or a really heavy compact highlighter on your makeup kit, you could just bring a stick. For the summertime and for everyday makeup, pretty much, I have been loving brown eyeliners because they're not as intense as black liners, but they do their job of enhancing my eye shape. So for that, I have been loving my Nishido eye pencil and this is in the shade medium brown and this is literally so easy to apply because it's creamy. So I just wing that a little bit and then keep it as close to my lash line as possible. So as you guys can see, I'm using brown liner right now and it's not as intense as black liner but it really defines my eyes. And brown liner is perfect if you guys want to go for that edgy but simple look that I usually go for for the summertime and pretty much for everyday makeup. Moving on to the palettes that I have been loving for this summer. This is the Beauty Treats Color Mania Eye Palette and this is very affordable but let me tell you guys this is so so 
pigmented. I literally have to use the smallest amount on my brush and I have to apply it with care and with the lightest strokes that my hands could do because these are so pigmented and guys those colors are perfect for the summer I mean look at that so we got a really light pale yellow here which is perfect for a um, maybe highlight shade or a transition shade and then we have a dandelion kind of yellow then we have a beautiful shade of orange here which is perfect for transition color if you ask me and I actually used it today but really really subtle because like I told you guys this is very pigmented and this is a really light brown and then a kind of apple green and then an olive green I cannot wait to play with these colors they're just so pretty two shades of brown this is a lighter one and I use this today on my lids and another one by beauty treats which is also very very pigmented I use this for the first time in my power of makeup video which is the video that I uploaded right before this one you guys should go check that out I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description box below and I'm probably gonna put it somewhere in the screen right now but anyways this is the beauty treats blush on and it comes with two shades one is like a orangey brownish kind of shade and then the other one is like a peachy pink i don't know if you guys can see that clearly but these are actually little specks of sparkle here we have gold sparkles and also light orange sparkles and then in here we have the same light orange sparkles which you guys can't really see and the pink ones so I just really love that they have shimmer in them which makes it perfect for the summer for lippies I just recently discovered that you can have really cute lips with just lip liner alone and that's all thanks to these um, cherry moya retractable waterproof lip and eyeliner but I don't use this for my eyes just because this first one is in the shade burgundy and this second one is a natural. I actually used the burgundy one in my power of makeup video. Again, the link will be down below. This is a really pretty color for night outs or for events or for days when you just want to go crazy with your glam. And this one I have on my lips right now. This is in the shade natural and I absolutely love this. You guys know how much I love nude shades on my lips and this one is an all-time favorite. Not that it's drying because it really isn't, but I just like to use lip balm before I apply these on. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys are new to my channel, when you hit that subscribe button, there's going to be a notification bell right beside it. And I would really love it if you guys click that also so you guys would be informed whenever I upload a new video. So that's it for this video. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye! Toodles!